Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing, and today I get to bring you another one of my favorite collabs that have happened over the last couple of years. This is the Nike LeBron Icon by John Elliott. Let's take a look. So over the last few years, there's been a bunch of different collaborations and some dabbling into the lifestyle. Let me take these out while we do that. Into the lifestyle realm when it comes to basketball sneakers. But if you've been around for a while, and there's the shoe, but you can see here they have like the special Nike paper there. But if you've been around for a round in the Nike, if you've been around for a while, gotta learn words apparently, in the Nike basketball world, you know that they used to do lifestyle versions of the signature shoes. LeBron had one, Kobe had, LeBron had some actually, Kobe had some and KD had some. And I feel like that's what, oh, this colorway is so, so good. I feel like that's what they're getting back to with stuff like this. Now, the lifestyle models used to be based on the current version or the current year's signature model. And if we're gonna be completely honest, I don't think they did that well. Um, nice black box as well. The black box actually looks good. Makes it a little sophisticated. Gives, gives it a little luxury feel to it. Um, so they were doing it with each different model and I think that didn't necessarily resonate as much with people like us as the consumer. There were some dope models. In fact, if you hold on just a second, this model in particular reminds me of this model a little bit, which was one of my favorites. They have the jean, the fuchsia, and then the brown with the leather on here. This, this was a really good one. This was the LeBron 10, um, the lifestyle version of the LeBron 10. And I think they just did a really good job with this one of really bringing like LeBron's shoe to life in the lifestyle version. You could actually play in these, although it has the leather laces and it'd probably be super hard to keep those tight, but it had like this nice leather liner. It had this denim outer. And then obviously you have the fuchsia color there with the midsole there with the full zoom midsole, which was super, super comfy. If you played in these, you know that they were on point. But anyway, we put these back. Uh, so the reason why I bring that up with these is because th that kind of reminds me of these. Now these are obviously based on the LeBron 8. You have the full max air unit from the LeBron 8. Eight, but then you also get the styling and the thoughtfulness that comes from a mind like John Elliott when he designs his shoes. Now, anyone could look at these and be like, oh, it's a pink shoe. It's a pink and fuchsia shoe, I guess you could say. But there's some details to this that really make this more than what we generally expect. For one, you can take the liner. So if you look at the liner of the shoe, this is all a very nice, nice leather. It's not just your general leather that Nike generally uses. This is more of a luxury and upscale version of that leather, I would say here. And it really gives the shoe a different character. It's in that same sort of pink color that you get for the rest of the shoe, but like it's soft, it's crinkled. You can tell like it's, it's collapsible. It almost has like a tumbled leather sort of feel, but it feels more raw than a tumbled leather, which I personally really like. And I feel like it gives a shoe, again, a certain kind of character. And then if you look at the reverse of the tongue right behind the Nike swoosh in the front, you know, it looks plain and simple. It has that like cross pattern mesh on top of it that's translucent. But the back of it almost has like a little bit of suede or like this cloth textile back there that gives you a little added protection. Again, adding a little something more to the design that's already there to make you really appreciate what you have going on with the sneaker. Now, the biggest story about these is obviously the translucent upper where you can see through the upper and it adds a little more character and dyna dy makes the shoe more dynamic, I think, in my mind. So if you like to wear crazy socks, that's the way you can show off the crazy socks. If you wanna add a different color or complement the color of these, you can kind of do that on your own. I was reading up about John Elliott and about these shoes in particular. And one of the things that he wanted to do was create a shoe that you could kind of customize on your own. And we got a little bit more of that with, so hold on. All right, so I'll be right back again. Uh, 
So on, on the white and black pair, it allows you to play a little bit more with color because it's, it's a base. White and black are obviously a base and then you can kind of accent those colors the way you want to. But with this, you get like this bright pop of color right off the top. So you have this pink, that's what dominates it. But then maybe you throw in some blue with the socks to kind of shine through to give it like a complimentary color. Or maybe you throw in some brown to add the complimentary color in that way and really kind of change the look of the shoe up and really kind of match it to your outfit. I personally, I'm a big fan of this fuchsia color. I think it looks really, really dope. And then there's also a tan color coming as well that I think looks really, really great. So going over again the shoe, you have these lines here and these lines are, are there for two different reasons. One, uh, John Elliott said it reminds him of the lines on a basketball court. So he wanted something along those lines, but also it adds another texture or element to the shoe. If you guys saw the unboxing that I just did with the white Air Force One, the John Elliott pair that had the extra thick insole that are mad, mad comfy. If you have it, make sure you check that out. Uh, this adds another dimension to the shoe. It adds more character. It allows you to see the shoe with different depths based on the color. Otherwise it would just be a pink shoe, but with these lines separating the clear panels and then you have the additional color of the darker pink here. But again, it adds that extra level of character to the shoe and adds that extra depth to, to allow you to see the shoe in a different light. And speaking of seeing the shoe in a different light, that's what John did with the dyes here. So he used the dye process where you use, it's called double dye, where you use twice as much of the dye or the ink to create a different color. So you have the lighter pink here that goes along all the translucent parts and on the midsole. But then you have this middle section that shows a little darker pop of that pink. And that's with the double dye. And then you can even see it a little bit here on the translucent panels here, like the taping that goes around the bottom of the shoe to add that extra depth of color as well. Something that you may not notice right off the back uh, because of the pink and the pink here is that the midsole is also a little tint of pink, I would say. It has a little, almost an off-white or eggshell sort of color that kind of accents it there, that gives it a little, a little more changing of the color so you can see a little bit more of the shoe and see the different parts of the shoe based on the colors that show up there. Uh, finally, and I just not finally put these back here. Uh, one of the other things, while I got you guys here, one of the, uh, one of the other things about the shoe is almost obviously the detailing. So on the inside of the shoe, you have the John Elliott and LeBron James insole, and these are definitely thicker than your normal insoles. If you look at that there, give you a profile, you can see how thick that insole is. That's definitely a lot thicker than your normal insole there. So a little bit of cushion, it's just foam. It's nothing really fancy, it's really just foam there, but you see that it adds you know, a little bit of extra comfort when you're wearing these all day long. I kind of see these as almost like a luxury lifestyle version of LeBron's shoe or of LeBron's legacy. Like the thought and the meaning behind the name LeBron James and what we expect from the name LeBron James has changed over the years. And I feel like with them looking up with John Elliott, you stay true to that with a model like this. Now, the final details are the grays. You don't see them, it's not heavily done, but again, it's used just as a compliment to what's already there. So this bottom eye stay, that's in gray. You see a little bit of gray here on the translucent panel. You see the gray around the edges of the tongue and it's all in a very nice suede, I mean, it's very nice leather. Then you have the gray on the Nike swoosh as well. And then here around the ankle, it's gray as well. And again, it's a very nice, soft leather that complements the pink leather that's on the inside of the liner. So you get like this two-tone sort of thing happening from the, uh, from the ankle to the insole, from the ankle all the way to the bottom of the shoe, and then on the heel tab as well, you have the gray. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like a, a lighter, a grayish pink, if that makes sense. And I don't know if that's just the light playing with me or if it's just a straight gray, but you do see like the hints of the pink, like the tint of the pink inside of the gray. Now, pricing wise, these are not cheap. I'll be totally honest. These are $250, which definitely prices them 
above the average LeBron model. LeBron, I think, is 185. So these are gonna cost you 250, which is obviously a little more expensive than your regular shoe, but I feel like this has a, a little more style to it and obviously you wear this in a different way. This is obviously nothing that you're gonna play basketball in. This is something that you're gonna style in your own personal way, which is something that I love, which uh, kind of begs a little bit of a question to that, that, ar that argument of, can you wear basketball shoes off the court? Do, do basketball shoes need to be upcycled or upscaled to look like this so that you can wear them on the court? Or can you just wear regular basketball shoes on the court? You know, maybe that's a video for another day and a topic for another day. But just wanted to give you guys a look at these. These actually dropped this weekend. Big shout out to the folks over at Nike. They were nice enough to send me a pair of these so that I can review them here on this channel. I plan on getting myself a second pair of these uh, just because I really love them so much and I want to get a pair of my own. I mean, this is great that they sent me a pair, but I definitely want to cop my own pair as well anyway so with that being said uh, as always guys i appreciate you again look for these to drop this weekend they're going to be available on sneakers and i believe they're going to be available at some certain shops as well uh but definitely check out the sneakers app because it'll give you all the information about where they should be and uh, also make sure you stay tuned because they have a tan pair that's coming as well and those are primo they are fire as always guys i'm jacques said i appreciate you and i'll see you soon peace